The Easy Torch Mark II kit is highly recommended for fabrication of soldered appliances. This mobile, no maintenance, easy to use torch is capable of producing high heat to melt all types of solder. A variety of tips are available to control heat distribution. This kit includes torch with hoses and pressure fittings, oxygen and propane regulators, magnetic stand, and assorted tips. Oxygen and propane cylinders are not included but can be purchased from a local hardware store. It is anticipated that for every propane cylinder, approximately four oxygen cylinders will be used. Due to the small tip design, minimal gas is burned during each application. Gases should be turned off when not in use. This soldering unit is intended to be placed on a workbench station. The Big Brother version of the Easy Torch Mark II, as previously discussed, is the Easy Torch Caddy Kit. This provides a rechargeable oxygen tank with regulators and carrying case to hold the propane cylinder and oxygen tank. The Caddy Case provides better storage when placed under the workbench station. The Caddy Case should be anchored to a stable structure under the workbench. The Easy Torch Mark II Kit is supplied as shown. Remove all components from the package prior to assembly. The weighted magnetic stand is removed from its package. Within you will find the weighted stand and base pad. Also you will need the magnetic stand arm. The base pad will need to adhere to the bottom of the weighted base. Remove the protective cover over adhesive on base pad. With a razor blade knife, lightly score the protective cover and carefully peel off cover leaving adhesive on base pad. Align the adhesive side of pad to bottom of weighted base. Press pad to base to adhere in place. The magnetic stand arm with locking nut is attached to the top of the weighted base. Loosen the nut with a small crescent or 7 16 inch wrench. Then the magnetic stand arm is screwed into the center thread hole of the weighted base. Position angled part of arm with magnet away from the seven holes on top of base as shown. With a crescent or 7 16 inch wrench, rotate nut clockwise against base to secure magnetic stand arm in place. The clip-on torch will hold the torch in a rest position when placed against magnet. The seven holes along the top of the weighted base are designed to hold the torch tips that are not being used. Remove the fuel regulators from their boxes. Here the propane regulator will be set up. Once the regulator is removed from its package, make sure the dial is in the off position. With the regulator dial in the off position, attach the propane cylinder to the fuel regulator. Twist the propane cylinder clockwise to tightly secure it to the fuel regulator. Once in place, check around threaded connection for leaks. The oxygen regulator is attached in a similar manner as the fuel regulator. Remove the oxygen regulator from its package. Make sure the oxygen regulator dial is in the off position. Attach the oxygen cylinder to the regulator. The threaded design is reversed with oxygen. Twist the oxygen cylinder counterclockwise to tightly secure it to the regulator. Once in place, check around threaded connection for leaks. Also within this kit, you will find the torch with red and green hose. At the opposite end of the hose are pressure fittings that will attach to the propane and oxygen regulators. The torch hoses are color coded for oxygen green and propane red. To connect the red hose to the propane cylinder, the fuel regulator must be tightly secured and dial in off position as previously discussed. Insert pressure fitting end of red hose into fuel regulator. Twist pressure fitting nut counterclockwise to tighten in place. With a crescent or 11 16 inch wrench, securely tighten in place. 
The pressure fitting end of the green hose is secured to the regulator on the oxygen cylinder. Insert pressure fitting end of green hose into the oxygen regulator. Twist pressure fitting nut clockwise to tighten in place. With a crescent or 11 16th inch wrench, securely tighten in place. The wire tank holder for the Easy Torch Mark II kit supports the cylinders on the workbench. The U-loop forms are placed under the necks of the propane and oxygen cylinders to hold them on an angled bench top position. Place these tanks and torch hoses away from flame when in use. There are three metal master tips that screw onto the end of the torch. They are the curved, straight, and modified straight tip that holds either of two syringe tip ends. The modified straight tip requires either a green 21 gauge or black 22 gauge syringe tip end to be used. To attach the metal master tips to the threaded torch end, align the pressure fitted end of the tips to torch. Tighten pressure fitted nut clockwise and secure in place with a crescent or 5 16 inch wrench. Do not over tighten. With the modified straight tip, the green or black plastic syringe tips are slid down along the end of the metal master tip end. Once the torch is assembled, the gas lines need to be purged. Start by making sure valves on torch are in off position. Turn torch valves clockwise to confirm off position. Then turn on gas regulators at cylinders by turning dials counterclockwise towards on position. At the torch, turn on propane red and oxygen green valves by turning dials counterclockwise one at a time. Open each valve for only two to three seconds. Turn off gas clockwise once purged. To light torch, turn red gas valve one eighth to one quarter turn counterclockwise. Ignite tip end with friction lighter, Bunsen burner, or safe ignition source. Adjust flame from tip approximately one inch length. Turn valve clockwise to decrease, counterclockwise increases gas output. Slowly open the oxygen torch valve counterclockwise until the flame is neutralized. This is accomplished by adding oxygen until the bright cone of the tip just reaches its shortest length. Too much oxygen will extinguish flame. Additional soldering equipment such as Great Lakes Flux, solder, model holder, and soldering station are recommended. To start the soldering process, a creamy layer of Great Lakes Flux is applied to metal surfaces to be soldered, including solder. Using the torch, heat metal surfaces and flow solder. Allow to air cool. The propane hookup is the same process as previously discussed. The rechargeable oxygen tank of the torch caddy has a larger regulator to monitor tank and operation pressures. Also, the plastic container is designed to house the larger oxygen and standard propane cylinders under the workbench. Make sure plastic container is anchored to a stable structure to prevent it from being knocked over. This oxygen tank may be taken to a local welding supplier to have it filled. Then place it into the container and attach the regulator. The large pressure fitting end of the regulator is inserted into the oxygen tank valve. Tighten the pressure fitting nut clockwise. With a large crescent wrench, tighten fitting. The pressure fitting end of the green hose from the torch is secured to the oxygen regulator following the same process as previously discussed with the Easy Torch Mark II. The regulator dial controls the pressure that will be used to run the torch. This is identified by the gauge on the left. The gauge on the right identifies how much pressure is being stored within the tank. When this gauge is at zero, the tank needs to be refilled. Turning the regulator dial clockwise increases pressure use. Counterclockwise decreases. The gauge on the left should be set at 15 PSI. Make sure the dial on the tank is open as well as all connections secured before regulating the oxygen pressure. Review the instructions and safety information booklet for general information about this torch, safety precautions, and fire protection. 
If you have any further questions regarding your torch, please contact Great Lakes Orthodontics at 800-828-7626. Thank you.